All right, guys, now we have some dirty dishes that need to go into the dishwasher. So I'll show you how I like to rinse things out first, load them in, start it up. Okay, we have a little plastic thing here for babies stuff because we like to keep his uh, dishes a little separate, which is nice because I don't have any, like stains like spaghetti sauce or coffee grounds or whatever we're using doesn't get mixed in with his dishes, just for whatever reason. We, we enjoy doing it that way. It seems to be more sanitary. So yeah, a quick rip. I always put my silverware in the down low on the bottom. And then little spots. Most dishwashers have little trays for your silverware. All right, I like to put the coffee mugs up top because they're a little shorter. And I like to put the taller things down below just because there's more clearance. And all that means is there's more headroom to fit more things in. Right. Okay, cool. These are mostly all the rinse. I'll just do a quick spot for this because I don't like to waste water either. Try to conserve as much as we can just because it's just better for the environment, you know? It's just the right thing to do. Our bowls, and we have our plates, lots of different styles of cutlery, plates, bowls, stuff. Sorry, it's a little loud. I'm trying to do this quietly while baby sleeps. I need to practice my quieter skills. Okay, cool. So, this little tray here. We're always washing and using these things for baby's pureed mixes that I showed you about. It's plastic. I like to put it on the top if it's plastic. Okay. More coffee mugs. If there's any water in them, I just dump the extra water out. Just to keep the area below the dishwasher tidier and not soaked with, you know, water ran off, run off. You could slip, you know, it's carrying baby around and you're hurry to get to the bottle warmer or change the diaper or something. You can't have water off the ground. Be extra safe with your environment with baby. How's that? So you get the general idea of it, guys. Plates and bowls, I like to put on the bottom. Bigger things. Sometimes the bowls will go on top if I have more, like, cookware. More pots and pans and skillets and things. Because you'll need more room on the bottom for those things. Okay. I like to keep our brown sugar in here. And it's always smart to wash these really well from time to time. This could probably live on that. Oh, I think it might fit nicely in there. Yeah, because it's got a little plastic on it, a little rubber, and I like to keep those things on top, like I said. So, everything looks pretty good here. These are clean, ready to put away. Teapot's good. All I have left is now the stuff in the babies. Little wash bin. Just do a quick rinse on a few of these things. I showed you this neat little contraption before. Sure, it's handy. You can have two different levels, so you can load different items, bigger items and smaller items. Bottles I like to keep on top. Gotta keep those near the middle of the top rack. And, and my wife, you know, she's really figured out the best strategy on how to, you know, load the dishwasher most efficiently. Because she's actually had a dishwasher in the past, and. I didn't really ever have one until we moved into this house, so I spent many years just washing dishes by hand, which is eh, it's fine. But, you know, it's nice to have a, a more convenient way, which, again, convenience is just, it's just easier, you know? And you can get things just as clean, I believe, both ways. It's just whatever your preference is and what you have available to you. So it is. And so that's all done. I do like to put baby's bibs. These are made of silicone, which is like a plastic, rubbery material. So that tends to be on top too. It has a little pocket to catch his old food. So I check to make sure there's no old Cheerios or 
little chunks of food in there before I load it. Likes to save his little food stash right after he's done. Oh, silly kid. Alright, slide these in here. And down here is where you put your soaps. It's just a little latch door. I'm sorry. Keep my soap down below the sink. I don't know where you guys keep yours, but there's a chance it's probably down below. A little pod with your dishwasher soap. You never want to put, ever, ever, you never want to put dish detergent in a dishwasher. This and this, no, never, 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 because this will make this bubble up. The soap is made of different components, so that soap is not made for dishwashers. You have to use dishwasher-specific soap. Keep that in mind if it's your first dishwasher. You know, learn from other people's mistakes. Oh, and this last little item here is just a coffee pod. I might have a coffee pod at home, like a Keurig. There's another one. Good, I'm glad I looked. And this holds your coffee grounds. And it does one cup at a time, so I always like to dump them out before I put them in the dishwasher, because they are dishwasher safe. I dump them, I always just rinse them one time because I don't want, again, coffee grounds really backing up the dishwasher and motors and whatnot. So I just give them a quick rinse. And they look pretty darn clean, you know, I mean, but they still need to be washed because they were used. And I like to put these down in the silverware holders because it keeps them in one location. All right, I already put my soap in, I latched the door. Now, these are all dirty, but I'm gonna go ahead and run the washer just for video's purposes and to show you what I like to do. So now that they're dirty, they're gonna be clean when it's done. I have a start button here. Normal wash takes a while. One hour wash. If you have gentle china, which is like fancy dishes and stuff like we have in our fancier cupboards. But yeah, different different ways to do it. You have a sanitized rinse if you want to give it an extra clean feel. And then we always like to heat it dry. We tend to just use the regular three hour wash because it gets it done. And it's more of a, you know, it's a normal wash and it does have a smart wash option. And it is an energy preferred appliance, so it doesn't take up too much, you know, electricity to use, which is nice. And it drains off into the below the sink and it cuts out the pipes like the water from the sink would. So that's basically how it works, guys. I mean, now the kitchen is looking pretty clean. So I can make sure no standing water anywhere. You know, that just keeps things nicer that way. Ah, a few tomatoes that I got out of our garden. Yeah, sun gold. You guys know about these. There's a whole other group of them ready to pluck. So I'm going to add those to our veggie smoothies for tomorrow. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And I hope that you are really helping out with these chores at home. Because if you're not helping out at home, you're not really pulling your own weight. Because everybody needs to pitch in during these times. We're all kind of stuck at home more than we've ever been. And so we all have to put in our own work to keep things running the right way. So please, please continue helping out at home, taking care of your own space, and also helping out other people in your family if they need help with cleaning things as well. It takes a group effort and to keep a really nice household running. So thank you for all your hard work so far. I hope this video has been helpful and thanks for watching.